Good morning, friends. I'm going to bring you along with me today. Just vlogging around the house. The kids are back to school after a, where's my creamer? Kids are back to school after a long weekend. I'm looking for, found it. I gotta dig in the fridge, hold on. All right, like I was saying, kids are back to school after a long weekend um, due to Labor Day, so they had a three day weekend. I am making some coffee with this Starbucks creamer, the caramel macchiato. So good, delicious. And then I'll, I'll let you know what's going on. So, took the kids to school this morning. I came home and I edited a video. I have another one to edit and then I'm recording this one today. Alice has her American Heritage Girls her first meeting tonight. It's kind of like Girl Scouts, but a little different. So we've got that tonight to look forward to. Um, I am putting a wax melt, vanilla souffle and cream into my warmer real quick to make it smell good in here. I'm trying to do everything one-handed. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of cleaning. I need to vacuum and mop my floors, which I've had a new toy that I've been playing with for about a month now, and I'm gonna share it with you today. It's a robot vacuum. It's the Robobot, Robobot, <laughs> Roborock S6, and it's amazing. Like, I can't say enough good things about this thing. So in our main floor downstairs, we have vinyl flooring. And obviously that gets dirty and needs to be mopped. And I don't really care for mop, like, I don't like mopping. So it probably didn't get done as much as it should. So the new Robo Rock that I got is, it vacuums and it mops. Now obviously it's not quite as good as like, hand scrubbing with a mop, but it has a mop pad on it, and so it, the front of it vacuums and the back of it mops, and it's super quiet, so I usually just run it during the day after the kids go to school and let it do its thing. Uh, I love that I can set up areas, like our front entryway has a small rug, and so obviously I don't want it mopping that. If I'm just running the vacuum, it can vacuum that, but for the mopping feature, I can set off no-go zones, so you just like go into the app, and I'll show you in a second, and you select an area and put like boundaries up so it doesn't go there. I've also done the same thing along our window, like those set of windows over there. We have um, speaker wire run across the floor from our surround sound speakers to like the subwoofer and stuff. So I don't want it um, going over there, so like I have an invisible wall there. And it's all set up through the app, and it's super, super easy, and I love it. Um, it's changed my life. My floor has probably been cleaned, like mopped, more in the past month than it has in the past four years we've lived here. Because <laughs> I run it about three times a week. Um, just because it's so easy and simple to use. So I'm actually gonna fill the water tank on that and get that going um, while my, wa my water, while my coffee cools down just a little bit. I just finished watching season three of Working Moms on Netflix. If you haven't watched that show, it's hilarious. Uh, kind of not child appropriate, so don't watch with children around. Um, and then now I just started season three of 13 Reasons Why. So I'm going to watch some of that while my vacuum cleans for me and I edit some videos. So it's a good day. Wonderful day. It's actually going to be a really hot day. I've got a hoodie on right now because I'm in the house and it's kind of chilly because we have the AC on, but it's supposed to be like mid to high 80s still today. So um, let me show you how to work this vacuum. So we've got the base set up over here, kind of like by our dining room table. And so that's the home spot. And I have it set so it doesn't go under the table either. Only because the legs of our chairs, it doesn't fit through there very easily. So it gets stuck and it's annoying. So this is the mop cartridge. And I'm just going to fill the water tank. Pardon the dirty dishes, real life. This cleaning pad velcro is on there so you wet the pad you fill the little container with water and then you just slide it onto the vacuum so the first time you run it um, you'll download the app and you'll run it in your area and it will actually map the room for you so this is the entire uh, first floor of our townhouse and the red areas are no-go zones that I have personally put up Whether it be because of cables or running under desks or I don't want it like going over the rug in the entry Whatever the case may be um, the kitchen table is right here the entries entryway is up there So you can set those no-go zones 
So once you do the initial scanning of the house or what are the the floor and it has its barrier set up on the app, um, you it can then recognize rooms. So if I only wanted it to clean my living room, I could select that area only. So that's all done on the app. But let's put this on. It just slides on. Water tank installed. Water tank installed, and then I just hit start. Starting to clean. Ensure water tank is properly filled. So this will come off the dock and the way it cleans, it'll go around the whole room and it'll do the um, perimeter of the area based on its previous like saved map. So it'll go do the perimeter in case anything has moved. And then from there, it will find the fastest route uh, or the most effective route and does like a Z-shaped cleaning and make sure to get like all of the areas. It's pretty, it's pretty phenomenal. The floor is wet where it's mopping and it's going to go down the hallway and then come back up and do the perimeter, go into the kitchen, do the perimeter, it's going to come around here, go behind the couch, come back out, do this area, and then it basically just fills in the dots, or not the dots, but fills in the lines like a coloring book. So anyway, it just hit the little like door stopper, so I'm going to in the hallway because it hit that door stopper. But I let that thing clean while I do other stuff around the house and it's just, it, it's, I, I love it. I've been telling everybody about it. Absolutely love it. So make sure if you're interested in it, um, it is like a higher end one, but I never thought I would like a robot vacuum. And here I am like, it's like my third child. So uh, if you're interested in information on the Robo Rock series, we'll look up um, reviews for this. And cause he reviews every, like, he researches everything um, and it was rated one of the top robot vacuums for the year so and that might uh, that might have been the previous version but the brand itself is rated one of the top so we are very pleased and I can smell my candle <sighs> smells like vanilla I'm gonna go drink some coffee and do my thing here he comes good boy he's like our virtual dog he goes around and eats all the food off the floor that the kids drop. Behind the scenes look of my editing. I am currently editing my August book wrap up. All the books that I read in August. And by the time you watch this video, that will already have gone up. So I read, spoiler alert, 18 books in the month of August. Well, I listened to 18 books because I do audiobook. Um, the vacuums behind me if you can hear it. It's pretty quiet though. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it I can easily watch TV and like do whatever I need to be doing while it goes. It's not super loud, which is nice for a vacuum So now it's done the perimeter and it's filling in between the lines Woo! I don't know why it's so fun to watch It reminds me of when I was like a teenager or maybe even early 20s when I used to watch my computer defragment and you'd just sit there and watch the like little boxes and it was just mesmerizing. Drop me a comment if you know what I'm talking about. Will and I talk about that once in a while. We'll just bring it up like comparing it to like when something seems really satisfying. We'll be like, but is it as satisfying as watching your computer defrag? Good question. Kids are home from school. You have food all over your face, baby girl. Oh, do you need some help? No? How was school today? Good. Did you do anything fun? We got to draw with Sharpies. You got to draw with Sharpies? Yeah. Mm. I need one of the straw bends. Yeah, that happens sometimes, doesn't it? We're going to have after school snack. You guys are going to do your reading. We're going to have dinner. And then you get to go... Yay! Where? To American Heritage Girls. American Heritage Girls. Wait for the first time, like, not like a visit? Yep. <gasps> Pretty cool, huh? Hi, buddy. Did you have a good day? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and get a snack. Uh, what? I think that chalk um, at lunch. I thought my finger was a French bite. You're a dork. Can you wipe the chocolate off your face? <laughs> it's up your nose. You are. Yeah. <laughs> Playing the flute. <laughs> the straw flute. <laughs> All right, before Alice and I head out tonight, I whipped up a very fast dinner. Um, 
I did a bag of the Great Value crispy chicken strips in the air fryer. And then um, the kids are having that with some fruit and fresh veggies. Will and I are having um, these wraps that I created a while back. It's like a ranch barbecue. But the barbecue sauce I use is the sriracha roasted garlic from Trader Joe's. So it's kind of spicy. And the ranch gives it that like cool effect. Um, so it's tortilla, chicken, lettuce. The cheese I'm using is this zesty ranch from Taco Bell. And then just a little bit of ranch and barbecue. And really really yummy and really really fast so perfect for a weeknight meal we're gonna sit down to eat it is 4 43 alice and i have to leave in about 45 minutes so we got here a little bit early huh so you're hanging out in the front seat with mama what are you watching holy night holy night it's a christmas movie because my kids are insane and they watch christmas movies year round even when it's summer you have some food on your face i think it kind of makes sense when we in the summer because it's hot. Yeah, sit down. Where's the food? What food? On my face. Look in the mirror up there. And we're home. And we had a bedtime snack and now it's bedtime, isn't it? Tired. Very, yeah, Tuesdays are, Mondays and Tuesdays oh, are going to be later nights. Taste. Can you tell our friends bye? Bye, I went to my American Heritage Heritage. 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 Yeah. Did you have fun tonight? Yeah. Got to learn some of the creed and the oath and do a craft. Honey, I don't know when they're going to volunteer at the Humane Society. You're just going to have to be patient, okay? Can you say goodnight? I know you're tired. Can you close it out? Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe. Click that like button right there. Bye.